All right, so what we have here is the old heel base, okay? And what we have here is a new heel base. So basically, we had five layers of leather glued together. Let's make sure we got that angle right. Come as close as possible to the original. This is a much sturdier heel base than what was there before. Took a little bit of work gluing everything together and sanding, reshaping them, but after it gets done, much better than what you had before. All right, let's go. Right, so before we put it on the boot, we have to secure it together. So I'm using a little bit longer nails so they'll cinch down from the bottom. And this is going to be a solid heel base. After all, this is, this is, this gets what, this gets the most impact as you're wearing the boots. A couple of them bent. I have to remove those. So you want to make sure that that's very, you know, that's very secure. Sucker's not going anywhere. Nice and tight. Oh, that's good. All right, this is our pneumatic nailer. Basically, we put the nails in there, we put the boot on, and press on the pedal, and it drives the nails up. Okay, so we're going to do the same with this boot here. We'll fill those nail. We'll fill those holes with nails, okay? And then we'll put the boot in, and then we'll press it. All right. Put the boot in. Tighten it up. The nails are going to be driven right into the leather heel block, securing the heel block to the boot. can't see it, but the nails are all in there. There you go. Alright, let's continue. Okay, what we have here is the uppers temporary stitched on to the footbed. Okay, we've got all the lines on the footbed lined up with the holes on the uppers. We're going to take the welt. This is just a regular welt. And we're going to stitch it on there. Just a rough idea to give me what size I need. I cut it a little bit larger. And we're going to follow all these holes. All the original holes. See all those original holes? And the new holes that we made with the new footbed. I'm going to stitch it all together. And it's coming along slowly but surely. Don't forget, subscribe. <laughs> Let's continue.
Now it may look simple just to sew this on here, but you gotta go through a lot of calculation before you get to this stage. If you don't have the footbed lined up with the uppers, then, then the footbed and the uppers will twist if it's not stitched properly. Okay, because the footbed's here and then the uppers are here and, and you don't want it to be crooked once it's finished stitching. So you've got you've got to do a lot of calculating before you get to this level, marking the old uh, the old holes in the footbed, making sure the same holes are lined up with the uppers. And once the, once everything's lined up, you're good to go. Now you still have to break them in, okay? This is something that, I mean, obviously the whole boot came apart and the feel of the footbed is a new footbed. Now it's not cracked, old, nicely shaped into your foot. That's the, that's the downsize of, downside of replacing the footbed, but it's nothing permanent. It's just, it's just a matter of breaking them in again after you wear them. Be like a pair of new boots. Almost new. Well, not quite new. We never say new because it's not new boots. We call them presentable. The important thing is that the uppers where the tears were got taken care of. They won't be coming apart anytime soon. And we are almost done with the stitching of the welt. I've got the other one over there. Let me show you real quick. Now everybody has different ways of doing things, right? Got a little ratchet set. Got the shank area kind of secured down to give it that shape of the shank. Some people, what they'll do is they'll sand this inside here to make it thinner so they can kind of curve it. I mean, it's really not necessary to do that. Everybody does it differently. This is how I do it. And I keep it the same thickness all the way around. And once this, I've got this foam rubber right there so the strap marks won't be visible after you remove them. And once that dries, that'll give it that nice shape. That'll be drying while I'm finishing this one. So that's it. Now, I'm no means a cowboy boot repair expert. I, I don't, I, you know, there's, there's people out there who work on cowboy boots every day. I don't. Once in a while, I'll, um, I'll get some in. Maybe what I do in a year, somebody does in a week or a month. No, in a week, maybe. So I don't do too many of them. But I like them. I like doing them. All right, let's keep going and finish this pair up so we can upload the video. All right, let's continue.
got a shank. Now, the originally, um, the shank was a little smaller. And they had, um, whatchamacallit on top, um, fiberboard. This is like a shank cover. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put a leather in there. That's the first part. This is the second part that's going to come in. I'm going to put a leather heel around. I had a plastic one from the manufacturer. We have a nice solid base. All right, let's continue. All right, we are back to the Steve and Chris show. Steve I mean, Chris, and Chris. Chris and Steve show. <laughs> right. <laughs> Coffee with Armenia and Greece. Oh my God, worst combination. <laughs> so we ran out of. Uh, we ran out of the usual coffee today, and we're trying something different. This is and I brought normal coffee. This is Colombia La Vega. This is Golden Bean Bronze Medal winner. Roast light to medium. We just we don't really do medium light. We do usually dark, dark and heavy. You know, dark charcoal, coal infused. In the region, it's southwestern Antigua, Amaga. Farm Finca Legbega. Okay, altitude process wash the cup. Red fruit, sweet citric, green apple, milk chocolate. In other words, not from Armenia or Greece. <laughs> but the other one, the Arabic coffee, is Colombian too. Oh, is it really? Colombian bean. Oh, I did not know that. I mean, it's got like aftertaste to it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm used to the other stuff. It's not bad. I think, I think uh, we're going to stick <sighs> to our usual. Yeah. And I tell the wife to go buy some coffee. I mean, I mean there's, there's, there is aftertaste. There is an like aftertaste. Cardamom or something. I just can't, I just, not my favorite. Luckily, um, this was from a, a small town, what do they call that, beanery? Yeah, I guess like a little beanery. Small batch, artisan roasted. <laughs> a great compliment to this handmade scone from uh, this very uh, local shop called Pan, Pan Era. Pan Era. Pan Era. They've been around for like hundreds of years. Yeah, it's very you know? good. Mm. Good combination. And it's close by. All right. It's ready in the mornings. Within walking distance. Only one location though, around the world. I mean, they have <laughs> other locations called Panera, but right. they're the cousins of Panera, you know? <laughs> Oops, I should turn that around. Maybe. We spoiled it, man. <laughs> Damn it. Never mind. <laughs> What is a blueberry scone? Blueberry scone. Blueberry scone. It's our go-to. Oh, by the way, this is Chris and Steve's show. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Coffee break with Chris and Steve. <laughs> Why am I in the picture frame more? Chris, lean forward. All right. There you I go. You have to be like this thing. Well, I am film. the host of the... You're the host. So I get the more of the vision, you know? I'm like the, the, the Robin the to your Batman. Yeah, I just something like that. Sidekick. Exactly. There you go. The lantern to your green. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Freaking frack, you know? Freaking frack. I mean, you know, <laughs> Laurel and Hardy. Right, the Hardy to your Laurel or Laurel. <laughs> are you saying I'm fat? No, Thanks, I dude. I appreciate it. Well, you are skinnier than me. I mean, you know. Oh, that's true. <laughs> he has no hair. Was Laurel? Uh, it's Ollie. Hardy? Which one's Ollie? Uh, Ollie. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Uh, we're talking about we're showing our age way oh, before yeah, our yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's before our time, dude. Right. You know, we're not that damn old. But we're getting old, Chris. That's why I shave so you can't see the gray. One, one th thanks. <laughs> one time I called Chris when I first met him. I called his house. I said his last name is Apostolou. And when I first met him, I thought Apostolou was his first name. So I called him up. I go, "Can I speak to Apostolou?" His sister answers the phone. He's like, "Which Apostolou?" I'm like, what the hell? They named their all their kids Apostolo? <laughs> I'm like, how many Apostolos are you? He goes, well, yeah, there's like five of us here. I'm like, what the hell is going on with that family? She's like, which one do you want to talk to? I'm like, I'm like, Apostolo. 
He's like, well, we got George, we got me, and we got my the mom and the dad and, you know, Chris. I'm like, I think it's Chris. <laughs> I never told you that story. Oh, that's true. That's, and I never, see, that's true. I never told you that. That's Your sister great, answered the phone. Story. Your sister answered the phone. I'm like, can I speak a spot? She's like, which one? You know. In true fashion, you know, she's she, a ball buster. Yeah, she, no, yeah, she is, right. She's a ball buster. <laughs> she did that. I'm like, they named all their kids a boss to live. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. And of course, my sister answers. I know. <laughs> One time I called her when I was in New York. I was like trying to sing a song. Like, hey, let me check out this song. Like, tell me how I sound. So uh, get on the phone, start singing. She goes, oh my God, hey, who sings that song? And I'm like, I don't know, uh, Oasis. She goes, yeah, let's keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Always busting balls, that one. <laughs> yeah, she's a trope. Anyway, I think we had enough for the day. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, this coffee. All right. Not quite on the chopping block, but... Let's just say it hasn't been a memorable coffee, a memorable guest, but as far as coffee is concerned, I mean... It's not bad. It's, it's good because that's the only coffee we have today. <laughs> that's but, exactly what it is. But if I had the option of the other one, I would definitely go to the other one right away. Yeah. You know? Mm. All right, let's... Con <clears throat> Let's continue. All right, so we've got our heel rand in. If you notice, we dyed the edges dark brown right there. Because what happens is once the sole comes on, we're trying to get the head dressing on there. It's going to hit the uppers and it's going to get that dirty. So you don't have to mess with it now because you did that beforehand. So we are getting there slowly but surely. Got our JR stamp ready to go. Now, most of the time, I finish the bottoms of these soles. I don't really show too much of how I do it. I mean, it's not a big deal, but everybody's like, "Hey, man, how come you didn't show us the bottom finish? Let's see how to do that." So I'll show you guys a little later how I get that pattern on there. That way you'll stop asking. <laughs> it was a nice coffee break with Chris. It's always enjoyable when he comes over. A little uh, break in reality. All right, let's continue. Oh, don't forget, subliminal message coming across. Do -do 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 subscribe if you haven't. Right, so Thank let me you. show you guys how I do the heel blocks. Now this is just temporary, it's sitting there, right? I just want to try to get to see if I can get the balance right. You see how it's not rocking back and forth? So the balance is perfect right here with the boot. Okay? All right, let me show you how you do it, how I do it. Now, I'm sure there's different ways of making heel blocks, but this is I find this is the easiest way. So what I do is I temporarily glue one at a time. I put one layer down, sand it, one layer down, sand it, until everything becomes balanced. And then when I take it apart, and I sand the surfaces again, and then I re-glue and back everything together nice and solid. What happens is with the first one, if you see here, when I first put this here, there's a hump in the middle of the sole. So what you do is you sand all that high spot and you get it flush as possible. And you continue to do that with that second, third, second, third, fourth, fifth one until you get a solid heel block. Once everything is taken apart and re-glued, sanded surface, clean all the loose fibers up, glued everything together we nail it shut like last the last pair we did lucchese's and these suckers are tight it's not going anywhere all right let's continue you know this is the meaning of friendship a true friendship you know when we're uh, sitting down having coffee with friends like i do with chris every morning we chit chat about the things that we're going to do and i was just telling him about a job that i had that i've got a big embossing job to do that i need a little extension on my table on my embossing table let me show you real quick I explained to him what I needed, and when he left, 30 minutes later, he comes in with this. Basically, it's just an extension to this to this plate right here, so I can put a large piece of leather there to emboss my job. I mean, a true friendship. You know what I mean? Not not. I didn't even have to ask twice. He just went to the shop, cut a little piece of wood, brought it back, and installed it. That's the true meaning of friendship. Let's continue.
guess I should wear some gloves, huh? <laughs> Something like that. Let's continue. Back up the camera a little bit. These are just decorations I'm putting on the sole. Nothing structural. I don't know where I come up with stuff like that. It just it just comes to my mind. And I do whatever. I guess whatever I want. Again, nothing structural. This stuff that I put on usually a wear away. People always say. You waste your time with all that stuff on the sole. He's gonna wear it away. Well, makes me feel good. And it kind of looks cool. Too bad, not too shabby. All right, let's continue. Did you get your boots? And? Those things are absolutely fantastic. My grandson came over and videotaped it. They opened it, and mm. he's uh, going to mail that to you. Did he mail it to you? Is he going to email it to me? No, he's going to send it to the however you do that. I don't understand how this that works, but he's... Yeah, I think it's emailing because it's electronic mail, basically, because I want to, if I get it on time, I can add it to my, uh, to my uh, video that I made of the repairing of the boots. Oh, okay. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, okay. I'll give him a jingle and make sure that he gets that to you right away. Okay, that's good. And he one... went over to see a friend of his who's a, uh, 
that's what he does for a living. Is does photo work. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So anyway, the, yeah, that that was that was absolutely. I couldn't believe those boots. I couldn't. I, you know, my feet swell up, and sometimes I can't get my boots on. I thought I don't care if I even want to if I wear, wear these. I'm gonna be able to look at them. No problem. And and the best part, that's my gift to you. Oh, 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 man! I appreciate that. Yeah, no worries. I think I think um, I think you deserve it to be my uh, favorite fan. So, <laughs> tell your tell tell your wife you don't have to talk about me anymore. This this way, you got a nice boots after all. So, I, I just had a doctor's appointment with with my doctor, and I told him I said, "Hey, I met a new friend. A new uh, uh, where are you from? Uh, my mind just Virginia. Um, what, what's your what's your country? Oh, oh, Armenian. Uh, Armenian." No, no, I I know that, but that's the, your nationality. Oh, I'm from Falls Church, Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I told my my doctor, I said I got a new friend, and he come from your country. Oh, really? Where'd you meet him at? And I told him, Oh, he's down there in Virginia. He's a shoe cobbler. Oh, oh, you're talking about Lebanon. That's what you're talking about, Lebanon. Yeah. Le yeah. Yes. I said, he's Lebanese like you are. Yeah. And, uh, and he said, uh, I said, Yeah, he's a uh, he's from Lebanon, but he's Armenian. He said, yeah, those Armenians, they're the ones that do the best shoe work. Awesome. So I'm glad you're happy. And um, let me see if I can uh, wait for the email from your, was it your nephew, you said? It's my grandson. Your I'm grandson. Right now and... Yeah, let him know. Let him know if he has it. Tell him to email it to me right away. That way I can incorporate it with the video I'm making. Okay. Okay. Steve. Thank you. God bless you. All right, buddy. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Another five. Another five. Another five. Another five. I can't even talk anymore. Another happy customer. All right. So let's see if uh, if I can get that email of that video and I can add it with this. Anyway, all right. Let's all continue. right, welcome back. We are done with another project. The last of the projects. So let me get it one at a time here. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll be happy with it. Now, had I known that this was going to be that much work from the start, this would have been easily $900 job. Because changing the footbed like that and the lining, patching that up, well, I was going to patch the uppers only. I didn't know about the worn, worn out lining. So had I known, again, had I known that, it would have been more. So just in case anybody's out there wanting to send a pair of boots, you know, just let you know that if it's this extensive work, it's going to be more than $600. Awesome, I like it. it. Turned out pretty good. I think you'll be happy. This will last for many years to come now. All right. That was a long project. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, just give me a call or email me. Email is bedos, B E D O S, at yahoo.com. If I don't answer your email, sometimes it goes into spam, okay? So be patient. Just send it again if you can. Or you call me at the shop. Uh, my number is, all the information is on the main page, about section. My shop number, my shop name, my address, everything is there. So you're welcome to look through there and, um, and give me a jingle if you like. Okay, we'll see you guys again on the next project. Take care.